subscribe to my channel. Thanks. The 2017 NFL Draft is here. Follow instant analysis of Thursday's first round in Philadelphia right here. Most recent pick. 15 Indianapolis Colts Malik Hooker, S, Ohio State, an elite ball hawk, he had seven interceptions last year, the Colts had eight collectively, and returned three for scores. Shoulder and hernia surgeries sidelined Hooker the last few months, likely depressing his stock a bit. But considering his name has been mentioned with Ed Reeds as a comparison, new Indy GM Chris Ballard is surely more than happy to snatch Hooker for a defense that needs extensive work at every level, including a pass defense that finished 27th a year ago. First Round 1 Cleveland Browns Miles Garrett, D, Texas A&M, after robust rumors and heavy smoke regarding an apparent infatuation with UNC QB Mitchell Trubisky in recent weeks. Cleveland's Brain Trust puts it in the fairway by taking this year's best player with the opening selection. A 6-4, 272-pounder, Garrett averaged more than 10 sacks per season during his three years in the SEC and produced in 2016 despite playing a good chunk of the campaign with a high ankle sprain. Only the Raiders had fewer sacks than Cleveland's 26 a year ago and the Browns have never had a player record more than 14 since it became an official statistic in 1982. As much as the Browns do need a quarterback stay tuned the pass rush was nearly as big a priority in a division where the other three teams feature established passers. Slam dunk pick for Cleveland's ongoing rebuild. Two Chicago Bears, from San Francisco 49 ERS, Mitchell Trubisky, QB, North Carolina. The Bears wanted him so badly, they were compelled to deal up one slot at the cost of three picks, likely throwing Cleveland's plans into disarray. Trubisky showed excellent accuracy, 68%, mobility, ability to cycle through progressions, decision-making, 30 TDS versus 6 ints, and consistently kept his eyes downfield as the Tar Heels starter in 2016. The problem is, that's the extent of his body of work 13 starts. Now he essentially replaces departed Jay Cutler as Chicago's new man under center, though he'll presumably sit behind newly signed Mike Glennon at the outset of the regular season. The Bears can easily extricate themselves from Glennon's three-year, $45 million deal after the 2017 season.